I don't know who this Corona fella is, but if I find him, I'm going to ask him. Do you bleed? You will. It is a sad day in Gotham City for us Batman fans because we just got the announcement that the Batman starring Robert Pattinson and directed by Matt Reeves is getting pushed back four months, no longer releasing on June 25th, 2001, but instead in October 1st of 2021. I'm going to be breaking down the details of obviously why this is sad news, but on the flip side, why it's actually one of the smartest decisions for this Batman movie. I need you guys to let me know down below how you feel about this delay. Does it bring your pain inside? I was begging the movie gods for some movie news, but this isn't what I had in mind. But leave a like if you're one of the people who, no matter what release date it came out on, you were gonna watch the Batman either way. All right, so this news was reported to us by The Wrap, who let us know that yes, the Batman had been pushed back four months all the way to October of 2021. But that really shouldn't even be a surprise to you guys who subscribe to the channel, because a couple weeks ago, I said that they would do exactly this. When they announced firsthand that the Batman will be shutting down production until this pandemic has gone over, I looked into the release dates Warner Brothers had, and I had strong feelings that the Batman was going to be delayed from that release date all the way to October replacing the Tom Hanks Elvis biopic they were planning and sure enough inspired by the great detective Batman I was correct. This is where I want an apology from all you guys who were bullying me in the comment section. Clickbait, the Batman is a year away, no way it's gonna get delayed. Dude, the Batman is so far away, how can they delay it? Yeah? Well who's laughing now? Nobody because the Batman got delayed. Obviously, it's sad news just because we have to wait a little bit longer to see this movie, and it also means that in the year of 2020, we can expect to see no more footage other than behind-the-scene leaked images of the Batman. Just look at Godzilla vs. King Kong. That movie is coming out this year in November, and we still don't even have a teaser trailer or any official footage to get us hyped for that movie, so I doubt by December they'll release some sort of Batman stuff. But the reason this is actually a smart business decision for the Batman is because the last Batman release related movie to release in October made a billion dollars. 2019's Joker was released in October and to everyone's surprise managed to hit the billion dollar mark with an R rating. This is a proven track record that audiences will show up to the theater for a dark and gritty Batman movie in the time when everyone is in the dark and gritty spirits Halloween. And speaking on Halloween, we've already gotten set photos with pumpkins on the set of the Batman. It's heavily rumored that the story for this Batman movie is going to be influenced from the comic series The Long Halloween, now it is only fitting that this Batman movie will be released in the Halloween season. I don't even have to remind you of the leaked set photo that maybe I can show really quick. How's your pause game? of a man in a chair whose face looks like it was duct taped up, really giving us a tone of how dark and gritty this new Batman movie is. Halloween is gonna be the perfect time for this film to come out. You also have the added bonus of at the end of 2021, everyone is gonna be on this DC hype train. Because a couple months before the Batman is released in August 6th of 2021, we're gonna be getting James Gunn's Suicide Squad reboot, which I'm kind of just as excited for as the Batman, cause I really wanna see what this director will do with a DC project. I have a I have a strong feeling that this movie will turn out great and if it does it'll only amp up people a couple months later to go out and see the Batman. But after the Batman is released a couple months later on December 22nd of 2021 we'll be getting Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam movie that admittedly I'm not that all excited for but if I get two really good DCU movies in a row you damn sure well know I'm gonna be excited for Black Adam and and what that universe has in store for us. I think DC is going to be cleaning house at the end of 2021, just raking in all that dough. It sucks that we really do have to wait, but it should be no surprise with just how long a lot of people have been in quarantine and the movie was only 25% complete. This will go ahead and put some relieving pressure on the director and the cast members because now they don't have to rush to finish the project, get it all put together and then ship it out. Not to mention all the competition and movies that were supposed to release in 2020 that that are now moved to early 2021 where the Batman was going to be released are now no longer a worry of competition for this movie. If anything, the Batman is going to be killing a lot of fun movies in next year that we might see get moved because the Batman will only be two weeks away from releasing next to Halloween Ends, the concluding chapter in Blumhouse's Michael Myers story. I doubt they will go ahead and move their film, but I would not be surprised if they do make some sort of movement to the following year just because they don't want any of that 
Batman competition. But honestly, the best news is that just continues the bat hype we have going on here for several more months, keeping my channel alive a little longer. So if you're someone really looking forward to this Batman movie, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I'll be keeping you up to date with all the things related to the Batman. Leave me your thoughts down below on everything related to this move. But as always, my name is Chris. Take care.